I didn't think this was a thing, but now that we're married, I feel different. In what way? It's kind of hard to explain. It's like, you know when you've been away for a while, and you finally come home and you crash in your own bed? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's like that. But everything is better. Even the bed is better. And somehow you love everything even more. It's like your capacity to love has just leveled up in a way that you didn't even know was possible. And here you are. Here we are. We're home. We belong. And we'll always belong because the person we belong with is always by our side. And it's not like some huge, major revelation. It's just like remembering something that we always knew, but now we won't forget. Because here we are. Because here we are. So is Dex okay? Is he, is he going to press charges? How are you feeling? I'm pissed off. I've been so angry at Sunny for so long. God, it's like I'm permanently stuck like this. Yeah, I hear you. So is is Dex... Well, I took him to the ER, and we had to wait there all night because he needed stitches. Dex needed stitches? Oh, it could have been a lot worse had Jason not been there to pull Sunny off of him. Jocelyn, you more than anybody should know better than to spread gossip. Um, it's not gossip. I was there. Oh. You saw Sonny hit Dex? No, but I saw Dex right after. So no, you didn't say anything. And yet. And yet, Christina saw everything. And she was very freaked out by it. And how far along is Christina? And what you girls wouldn't know is that when you're pregnant, sometimes the, the little thing can freak oh, you out. This was not a little thing. And what you Sorry. do know, both of you by now, is that when men drink... They fight. And I'm sure this encounter between Dex and Sunny wouldn't have escalated if Jason hadn't insinuated himself. Okay, you know what? This conversation isn't going anywhere, so maybe we should just get it here and we have those apartments to go see. Yes? No, you know what, Trina? You're so right. And I shouldn't argue with your boss, who wasn't actually at the reception. I can't imagine why you weren't invited. Um, and couldn't have possibly known what actually happened. I'm not gonna go in the meeting. I think that's for Phil and Chase. Oh, I'm sure they'd welcome you. Besides, I have to pay a visit to a certain gallery owner. Give it a hell. Anyhow, I think I know what Gregory would like me to do from his will. You can guess that I can neither confirm nor deny how the will is written. He wants me to be literary executor, and I'm proud and happy to do it. <laughs> I had a feeling you would be. I really wish that I had gone to the wedding. I have seen him in his proudest and finest moment. I just really never thought that it would be his last.